Cheese averages 60 to 70 percent fat. The animal foods that we eat tend to be highly concentrated versions of things that we have a natural attraction to. That's why a piece of chocolate cake is more addictive than an apple because the amount of sugar and fat that's in that cake is so concentrated, so intense, you get a much bigger dopamine release in your brain, which is the reward hormone, than you would from eating the, uh, um, uh, the apple itself. So, you know, cheese is, I mean, cheese averages 60 to 70 percent fat. When you take, you know, two gallons of milk and concentrate it, concentrate it down to a pound of cheese, you got all of those morphine-like reward compounds concentrated in that cheese. And yeah, when people eat it, they're like, mmm, this is awesome. It's a perversion of what nature intended and, and it's making people eat this artery-clogging, um, uh, sort of uh, disease-causing stuff. When an adult human ingests something that starts to make our cells want to try and grow, our cells really can't grow. But what they can do is become tumors. And some of those tumors can end up being cancerous. And that's one of the reasons that you see that dairy foods are associated with cancer growth. The other thing is that dairy is associated with exacerbation of asthma and sinusitis, and it's also associated with autoimmune diseases. Why? What is an autoimmune disease? It's a disease where the immune system becomes so overactive that it starts to attack a person's own body. And again, you shouldn't be ingesting something that's stimulating your already mature immune system. So that's why I say if you understand what milk is supposed to do, you understand why you shouldn't be drinking it. Because it's trying to make your body do things that it doesn't need to do or it shouldn't be doing. And, uh, and if you do that over a lifetime, uh, it, it will likely result in, in serious disease.